belong in jail. You're a traitor to the United States. You stormed the Capitol on January 6th, you f sucking motherfucker. J6 or Jack? J6 or Jack? Come over here and debate me, you asshole. Officers, that man stormed the Capitol on January 6th. His name is Jack something. He became famous for it. What's your name again? Peter Korahanis, K-O-U-R-A-H-A-N-I-S. And you're from South Philly. South Philly. So tell me, because uh, when we got over here, you were screaming at Jack. We don't know his last name, but he stormed the Capitol, you're saying? According to another gentleman, he is now a right-wing commentator who's made, he's became famous for it because he stormed the Capitol. You, come here. What's his name again? What? Jack who? Oh, Jack Persorbic. That's what I thought. Jack Persobiak, yeah. Persorbiak? Jack Persobiak. Pretty, pretty famous on the right there, for, for the wrong reasons. And, who, and what's the organization he's with? What's the organization he's with? Uh, Real, uh, oh, Real America's Voice. Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon's uh, right. <laughs> so, uh, I scared him in there, by the way. Tell me. I scared him in there. He, yeah, was, he, he was over here, um, you know, and I interrupted. Yeah, I, I interrupted his live stream saying, um, you know, stuff like, Daddy Trump, Daddy Trump. You know, I was also chanting, uh, grab him by the pussy just to make the live stream weird. So I take it you're not on Team Trump? I'm not on Team Trump, no. So uh, in terms of January, well, I could, I could talk to you both. In terms of, in terms of, uh, in terms of January 6th, obviously that's uh, top of mind for you in terms of stopping Trump? Not at the time. I mean, I mean what, what's the, what, what? What do I pick? I mean, there's a number of numerous things. There's nothing at the top of the list, really. It's 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 all, more or less all of it. What are your uh, thoughts on? Obviously, it's been chaotic with Biden dropping out, Harris uh, stepping in, but people uh, have said in polls uh, they need to quote know more about Harris. Uh, frankly, from where I'm sitting, economically, uh, we're getting pretty much the same. For, I mean, billionaire tax cuts, like you said, uh, but Harris All has. with the blessings of the Democrats. But has Harris proposed anything bold from what you could see? Because I'm not seeing anything. No, fuck no. <laughs> they all work for the same people. They work for the same billionaire class, the donor class, the same corporations, same Wall Street people, mm -hmm. same executive, big pharma, big agra. What's your name? Danielle. Danielle. Oh, I dropped well, my Well, since you came together, can I ask you both? Uh, you said you said they're both you said they're both corrupt, but obvious, right obviously obviously you like said this. they're both corrupt, but obviously you're supporting Harris. Why are you supporting Harris? Because she's not a traitor to this country. Because I believe in democracy. I was born in this country. I was raised in this country. I love this country. I want to protect the future of democracy for myself, for my children. I want to protect my own rights as a woman. I don't want anybody coming into my city and telling me who I can marry, who I can love, who I can hold hands with in public. I don't want them, somebody coming here and telling people whether or not they can transition and live in the body that they want to live in. I, I think that Trump is one of the worst things that has ever happened in this country. Uh, I agree with everything. Look at me. Look at me. I'm fat. It just really triggered me. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I have uh, money. I, I, There's I, a difference. I, 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 I agree with you on those things, with the social issues, which are very important. Money, right? But Harris is taking money from all the same billionaires, billionaires, and she's not oh, proposing anything go? economically that would structurally help anyone. So what, what do you think of that? That's not true, sir. She she's not taking money from billionaires and millionaires? She has an economic plan in place to help the middle class. I don't know if you've been following. I have. What's the plan? She has a tax credit plan in place for working families. If you have a newborn baby, you get a $6,000 tax credit. Is Trump proposing that? No. What is Trump's plans? What are his plans? Tell me what his plans are. I don't know. Economically, I agree with you. I guess what I'm getting More at is you're for billionaires. Well, what, what, what I'm getting plan. at, what I'm getting at is you're talking about democracy, but both of these sets of po uh, politicians and parties are both purchased by big donors and they give little crumbs like tax credits. So don't we need more than that? Putting aside that Trump is awful, I completely agree. Don't we need more than that? I don't super care at the moment because the things that matter to me are just saving democracy in this election. In the midterms, next time there's an election coming around, we can be more picky, more choosy with our Democratic candidate. But right now, I think that we just need to keep in mind that we're trying to protect our country and its future.
And uh, for Trump, what do you think are the biggest threats? I know you mentioned uh, the social issues, but to democracy, what do you think he's going to do if he's reelected? He wants to defund the Department of Education. He also wants to defund the FDA and restructure our federal government, which will give Trump loyalists power, put them into place and office and pass whatever the fuck they want. Also, again, he started an insurrection. He does not have this country's interests in heart. He refused to concede the last election. If you think he's gonna concede this election, I think you're, you're crazy. He's, he's, he's bad. <laughs> and uh, last, last question, uh, in terms of Trump, if he's reelected, do you have any fears that he might try to serve more than two terms? Because he's joked about, uh, oh, maybe I'll stay in, you know, permanently. Oh, of course. I, I fear that. I mean, he'll probably, you know, I don't know if he'll last four more years, six more years, eight more years. But yeah, I fear that, that he will try to do that or at least try to put, you know, one of his loyalists or one of his children in or something. What's your message? Obviously, the war in Gaza is a big issue. What's your message to Arab Americans who right now a lot of them are on the fence about voting for Harris because she said she's going to continue the policy there? I do think that Trump's policies are worse. And again, I think it's a situation if we have to get somebody in place who is at least sympathetic to putting in place a two-state solution. I'm personally in favor of a two-state solution, so. But does enhanced sympathy stop the bombing, stop the killing? I mean, what could be worse than what's going on now? I mean, they are working towards a ceasefire. I don't know what else they can do. It's in, in, uh, not in, in Yahoo's court at this point. And what's your name? Danielle. What's your last name? I don't want to say. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. Bye. Don't put